Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. We've just been so busy with school and outside activities and church stuff and doctor's appointments and orthodontists. It's been a really crazy February, but today I'm going to go to my local Goodwill. They just finished renovating. I haven't got to go yet since they opened. I think it's only been a couple days. So I'm gonna go there and see what I can find to resell in my booth, Green Onion Vintage. So let's go. Okay, that was such a fun shopping trip. I've never seen my Goodwill that busy and they were so well stocked because it was just open. So I had a ton of fun. This is turning out to be a really productive work day for me. So right now I'm gonna show you everything that I bought today. I'm gonna go ahead and price it and then I'm gonna take it right up to the booth before they close at four o'clock. So I'm about an hour and 15 to get all of this done, but I think I can do it. So let's get started so I can get there on time. So my main shopping goal today was, of course, to get some spring inventory for my booth, and I was very successful in that. Um, I didn't like look at anything for Christmas or fall. I tried to just avoid all that section entirely and just get stuff that I can put in my booth right away because I haven't been able to shop in a long time. I haven't put anything new in a while, and I know that our booth needs some new stuff. So I'm gonna start off with these vintage vases. These are not typically my style, but I actually love them so much. I'm trying to add like a little bit more like whimsical elements into my house and so these actually go really well with some of the other things that I've been adding lately but I I know I need to sell them but I might hold on to them for a little bit I paid 367 they're looking smaller on camera than they actually are they're about like nine or ten inches tall so they're pretty large 367 each I think when I sell them I can do uh, maybe eight or even ten each because they do have a lot of good details and I feel like this kind of retro style of home decor is very in right now, especially with any botanical element on there. So I thought those were a really fun find. Like I said, I might keep them around for a, a couple weeks at least and decide if I want to get rid of them or not. But that is my first purchase. And then I never pass up a white ceramic pitcher. I'm imagining this one with some greenery in it, um, particularly some like lavender sprigs. I wanted to get to Walmart and buy those today, but I spent too much time at Goodwill. So I'll have to go maybe this week and try to get some lavender from there. Um, nothing wrong with it. I paid $3.67 for that. And then moving right along with the spring theme, this little pepper pitcher I thought was really cute. Paid $3.67 for it. It's still taped shut. No like notable name on it or anything, but I just thought that would be really cute in my booth for springtime. Candy jars have been a really good seller for us lately. I do this booth with my mom and she's been selling like a variety of sizes. So I picked up this one and this one. It's kind of similar, but uh, I think they'd be really nice if you had like a jar collection or an open shelf where you can store some of your um, like ingredients out on an open shelf. I think that would be really cute. They were $2.54 and $2.54. So pretty good deal. Keeping up with the kitchen items, I got this little pitcher for $2.54. I love the color of this. 
Looks just like a robin's egg. Um, nice and small, like little creamer size. So snag that one for sure. I like the little handmade like pottery look of it. I grabbed this yellow crock. I thought from afar that it was Lake Crusette, but it is not. It just says Family Heritage on the bottom. Oh, Pampered Chef, I just realized that. So this is probably a pretty pricey piece back in the day. It's very solid. And it was only $3.67. So that's gonna be hard to part with right away also. I really like it. And I like the idea of adding some yellow to my house. So that might be another one that kind of hangs around for a while. That was a really good buy. I thought this piece would be so cute for springtime. $3.67, this little vintage colander says 1983 on the side. So it is actually truly vintage. I can say that and not antique though. Has strawberries inside. Just thought that was really cute. And sticking with the strawberry theme, I didn't realize these were selling separate. So this was 254, this little crockery piece. And then this was inside of it for $2. I didn't realize they were separate, but I just, I did go ahead and just buy them. When I found them on the shelf, they were just like that. Um, but again, good color for springtime. I like adding the strawberries in. That'll last through summer easily if they don't sell right away. So also like that find. And this is one of those things that I grabbed right off the rack as they were pulling it out from the back room. Um, it is Mud Pie brand, which is very pricey. I only paid $5.99. And it looks like it's still completely brand new. It originally was $49.99 according to this tag up here. So just a really cute cookie jar. I don't necessarily love the words on it anymore. I think that we're kind of getting away from that. But it even came with its little uh, metal tongs that say guilt free. I don't know, I think it's pretty precious. But if I was gonna keep it, I would probably just display it backwards and just have the white with the wood lid. The lid is so pretty on this. Um, but for $5.99 for something that retails $50, I know that's a good find. And I do think I'll try to sell it in my booth even though I think the lid is really pretty. And it looks so nice like that. But I do think I'll sell it maybe closer to $25. And then for $3.67, I grabbed this candlestick here. It's a little bit large for you to see the whole thing. Um, candlesticks sell pretty well for us in our booth. I just thought this one was um, a cute design. And for $3.67, you really can't go wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I mean, there are some dings in the paint, but I would think that that was something people would want. Um, if it doesn't sell right away, I can always bring it home and give it another paint job. And then I grabbed two copper pieces. This one's 367, has like the hammered look, and then this one was also 367. Missing its little handle, but I think that I could probably put some kind of plant in it that would make it cute for springtime. I picked up this little bike, uh, just like a shelf decor. It was 551. I'm pretty sure they still sell this at Hobby Lobby. I just thought it would be cute in our booth for summertime. And I was really excited about these because I've been wanting to buy some wood bowls for a while now. So for $3.67, it's a set of these four small wooden bowls. They have like a ridge along the bottom. Just really cute. I probably won't part with these right away either just because I've been wanting them for a while. But I don't know that I actually need them. I just think that they look cool. But I thought that was a really good find, especially for the price. And then I also snagged this little bird canister, which is one of my favorite things that I bought today. Um, and then I bumped into my friend Maureen there, who I've met at Goodwill many times, and she's a fan of my channel. And she said she actually saw this recently at Home Goods, so it's apparently still selling brand new. I only paid $3.67. It has a nice wood lid, and I just thought the bird was really cute. Doesn't get much more springtime than this. This is gonna be another thing that's hard for me to part with, but I don't have any idea where I would put this in my house at this point. It is so full of stuff, but I thought that was a really good find. And then just a little shelf sitter, a little old VW bug. I thought that was really cute. It was also 367. It's nice and heavy. Grab these four little drinking uh, jars, I guess you could say. They all have a handle and they were $1.32 each, which I thought was a really great price. These are another thing that I might end up keeping. 
Um, I think my kids could probably handle these. I'm trying to get away from the plastic cups that we use and switch to glass, uh, <laughs> which is always a little scary though with kids. So I don't know if we're quite ready to keep these, but I did think they were really darling. And if anything, I might just store them away for later or I'll just sell them for now and then try to find something similar when we are all ready for glass cups in our house. And then similar, similarly, I found these two little bee glasses. I thought those were so cute and they were also $1.32. I like kind of the look of the recycled glass that all of these have. Um, the thing is, I just, I do feel like they would completely shatter if they got dropped, but they're kind of nicer for smaller hands. So again, might end up keeping those. Might wait until my kids are a little bit older to move up to the glasses. And then I also found another little strawberry piece, just a little canister. I feel like I've sold this exact one before and it was only $2.54. Yeah, I'm still going. Can you believe how much I bought? So I also got another candy jar, a little bit larger for $3.67. Absolutely perfect condition. I could not believe the housewares department today. It was amazing. And I'm mostly just in awe because it's normally so terrible at my store for housewares. So I'm just so happy. And then the last piece of housewares I bought, I'm keeping for sure. I have been needing a new pie plate and I found this one on the very bottom shelf. It was covered up by a couple boxes, but I recognized the color of it. And so it's this nice big heavy duty pie plate from Le Crusette. Can you believe it? So it was selling for $15 at Home Goods, originally 51, which I believe that because I've been to the Le Crusette store um, and I got it for $6.99 today. Looks like it's maybe never been used. So, oh, it definitely has it. Look, it, it still has a sore tag. So how great is that? What a good find. Gonna replace my old, just very cheap glass pie plate. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. That was probably my favorite find of the day, but I do have a couple really cool baskets to show you now. So this basket is the most expensive thing I bought today. It was $10.77, but I just love the character of it. I don't love the inside. I mean, it was designed, I think, to be um, ocean themed inside. So it's a pic picnic basket for the beach, I guess. Not really. I guess it looks oceany, but really that's a flower. So either way, I mean, I'm not going to be able to display it open that often anyway. And I think that inside is actually pretty cute, but I just loved the green colors of this. Um, I couldn't believe that it was still there to be honest, but maybe they had just put it out. I don't actually remember. Um, but the lock still works. I just thought it had a lot of really good character and I love the shape of it. You can almost like display it like an old piece of luggage. So that was probably my favorite find today actually, in addition to the Le Crusette pan. And then just another little basket here. I'm pretty sure I've seen these at Target or Hobby Lobby. So um, definitely not an old basket, but it was $4.59 when I bet it was probably more like 15 or 20 in the store. So I like the style of it. I like that you could hang this like on a peg or a hook on your wall and maybe have some flowers coming out the top. Um, I've been actually looking for a basket like that, so um, I was glad to find that as well.
Okay guys, admittedly not my best display. I don't really have enough pieces in this collection to like give me a lot of different heights, um, which I typically like to do, but that's okay. You guys at least got to see everything put together. Luckily, I'm taking this up to a booth that already has a really good foundation for me to build upon, so I don't have to rely on just these things I'm bringing in. These are really just gonna fill up our space a little bit more. But here is another final look at everything. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments. I always love to hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm actually gonna move on now to the most time consuming part of all of this, which is taking all the Goodwill tags off and then putting my tag back on. It really is the most time consuming part. It takes me forever, mostly to get the stickers off. They can be real stinkers sometimes. So I'm going to go do that right now and then I'm gonna take everything up to my booth. So that'll be my next video. And I'm also thinking about filming the whole store while I'm up there and not just my own booth because it's been a really long time since I've shared my treasure house with you guys. And it's always really pretty there at springtime. So I think I'm gonna go do that today. Uh, put all my stuff in, rearrange my booth, take a video of my booth, and then take a video of the store. So that's on my to-do list today. I hope you guys are also having a productive Saturday or maybe just a restful Saturday. That's also great and very much needed as well. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see my next antique booth tour. See you then, bye.